This is a sample recording. This is a sample recording. Hi guys, before going in, I have a recommendation to make. First, go to edit, go to preferences, go to quality and make sure you have selected the default sample format as 32 bit float or 24 bit at least. Why I do this is because if I select the 16 bit, I don't think I'll have enough dynamic range to actually push the noise back to absolute silence. If I play this quieter part, seemingly quieter part of my signal, you can see that amount of noise is there. This is where my noise alone is peaking. What I ideally want to have is absolute quietness over here. To have that, I would want to push it back to below minus 120, let's say, luxuriously so. The 16-bit format in Audacity probably won't give you that range to push it back. The 32-bit float will give me that. So make sure that you have selected that and said OK. I'll just play back my track for you to so that you can hear what it actually sounds like. This is a sample recording to test the noise gate filter. Now I'll make a copy of it. Now for noise reduction, there are two plugins I would like to use. The first one, probably you are very familiar with it. It's a noise reduction plugin. A warning against this plugin because it has a tendency of introducing certain artifacts and taking away certain artifacts from your actual desirable signal. So I will only apply it to the minimum level. So it has two parts. First step is to get a noise profile. What that means is that you give a sample of the background noise that you have in your signal by selecting this quiet part where you think only noise is present and you go to that plugin and tell it to get the noise profile. Now it will try to reduce this sample or this kind of noise from your entire signal. So I'll select my entire signal, go to noise reduction again and I set these three parameters I'll say noise reduction, push it back or pull it back an amount of 15 dB. I'm saying sensitivity to, if I keep the sensitivity high, you know, it will touch my artifacts in the signal. The frequency smoothing, I keep it to the maximum so that it has a smooth way of functioning. Play around with these sliders and see for yourself what difference it makes to your actual signal. Now I'll say, okay. So after applying the noise reduction, let's play back what the signal sounds like now. This is a sample recording. This is a sample recording. Now, that is fine, but what I really ideally want, this quieter part of my speech, it still has a certain noise. Right, now if I'm he hearing it with a good playback device, I'll be able to clearly hear this noise. I don't want, I want absolute silence. So for that, I use my next plugin, which is the noise gate plugin. I go here. And this plugin gives me like seven parameters. What I'm worried about is the level reduction, gate threshold and attack and delay. Level reduction is the amount to which you want to push it back. I'm keeping it luxuriously at 80. So you will see how much it will push it back when you're using that. You can also play around with this. Gate threshold, my signal, if I play it back, this is a sample recording. The loudest part is coming at around minus 12. And the quietest part, if you see, this is a sample recording is not going below minus 36. So I can keep a safe distance and say that it doesn't go any below minus 40 level. So that is the range, minus 12 to minus 40 is the range in which I have my actual desirable signal. Everything below minus 40 I am considering as noise. So I have kept that boundary, the lowest boundary as minus 40. So that is what I give as the gate threshold. What that means is that anything below minus 40 level, I'm treating it as noise and I want it to push it back as low as possible into that inaudible range. Now attack and delay is similar to what we saw in the noise reduction plugin. Uh, I want it not to attack and delay very quickly. I want it to do it smoothly. So I keep it at a safe level of 150. Otherwise it will sometimes introduce a certain clicks into your signal. And by these settings, I say, okay. Now we have done applied both the plugins. Now let's play it back. This is a sample recording to test the noise gate filter. This is a sample recording to test the noise gate filter. There, if you see this part, the quieter part, and you play it back, 
the monitor shows it is below minus 132. Now that is not audible to human beings. You get absolute silence. I hope that really helped. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.